afternoon, dear viewers. On today's installment of Julia vs. the Abstract Concept of Cooking, we're going to be making churro bites. I think. What are they called? Baked churro bites. I kind of thought you had to fry churros, but these ones are uh, baked, and I think we can handle that. So, let's get started. First, we gotta put some water in this saucepan, apparently. All right, here we go. All right, we should probably turn this stove on. Next, we've got uh, next we gotta put some brown sugar in there and some butter. Okay. Yeah, okay. So this brown sugar I think could be used to build like a pyramid bricks because uh, I don't know if you can see it bent my spoon. So let's see if we have something not like that. Let's see. We have dark brown sugar. Is that going to work? Next we need the butter. I think I need a knife. I'm gonna go get a knife. I'll be right back. All right, got the knife. All right, um, a third cup of butter. How much is Okay, so all of this is half of, how did, <sighs> kids pay attention to schools, so you might, you know, know fractions and be able to cook. Alright, I figured it out, it's, I forgot, no, five, it's five, wait. Alright, let's get rid of this. Alright, here's what we've got so far. And that looks horrible. Oh boy. Alright, that looks much better. I guess. On to the next step. Alright, this was clearly not the correct tool for that. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Alright, next we gotta add some eggs. So let's go ahead. All right, next we have to add one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, next it says to add salt to taste. Now I will tell you, this does taste like salt. So we're just gonna, I don't know, put some in there. There we go. Now we turn this goop into some churros. All right, here we go. So I've put, ah, ugh, I put all of the, uh, not all of it, but most of the batter into this piping bag. I hope this is kind of the right shape. I can't really see, it's blurry. All right, anyway, let's, let's go ahead and start piping. Okay, I have batter all over my hands. I think this is enough to test. Let's go ahead and put it in the oven. Ah, what have I done? All right, I figured it 
out. Now, uh, we just gotta, whoa, we just gotta broil this until it's golden brown. Alright, these are starting to look worrisomely brown, sort of at the tips, so I think I'm gonna take them out now. Alright, I think I might have left them in a little too long. Oops. Also, I don't think the, uh, the, the, the frosting tip was the right shape, because they're kind of too roundish. I think churros are supposed to have ridges. Oh boy, here we go. Next, we're supposed to take those churros over there and put them in the butter and then put them in the cinnamon. Now, hold on, let me, let me, I need to look you in the face for this. I'll be honest, you guys. I misread the instructions. I thought it said cinnamon, but really it said cinnamon sugar. But it's fine, because I just uh, I just put some uh, some sugar in the cinnamon. I'm I mean that's probably what it is, right? It should be fine. All right, here we go. All right, dear God. All right, done. Ugh. How am I gonna turn the camera off? My fingers are covered in cinnamon and butter! Ah! Hi, Justin. Hail, dearest sister! Okay, uh, I was wondering if you would be a representative for the abstract concept of cooking today. I do like representing abstract concepts. Awesome. Today I made some churros. Uh, now it actually said that we should serve them with, uh, warmed chocolate, but we didn't have any of that. But we, uh, Also, we, chocolate is terrible, how dare you. We have frosting, so if you want some chocolate frosting with your churros... How dare... Fine. Okay, here we go. It's gonna... No, oh, wow, that just breaks right off. Well, they've been in the fridge for a while. Okay. It's cold churros, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Justin, I don't think I cooked them long enough. I think they're well, a little raw. Well, you know, it was good. It was good at first. Now I can take. Oh, oh, that's, oh god. That's just terrible. Alright. So it's the verdict then. This is a failure. You have failed me and you have failed your family. Wow. You have failed America. That's harsh. 